Hey, it's Boo Ray Perry from Tampa, Florida, and today I'm going to show you a very simple little button hack. Just one little change to the way your buttons work on your Fuji camera that will make all the difference. Okay, this is going to be a quick video, I promise, because it's a very simple button hack that will be a little bit of a game changer for you when you're using your Fuji camera. Now, this only works for certain Fuji cameras, most of them, uh, to be honest. Uh, this is the X-T4. It works with the X-T4. It works with the X-T5. It works with the X-H series. Um, it will not work with the X series, right? The X-100 series. It won't work here. I don't know if it works with the Pro or not, because I don't have a pro and I'm too lazy to look it up. <laughs> but basically, it only works for the camera that has this button right here. See this button right here? That's the one. So there's one on the XT line, there's one on the XH line. It's You can't see it, but it's back here. Let me put that around. See, there it is right there, see it? Uh, there isn't one on the XT30, there isn't uh, ones on the X100. Uh, so it only works with like the XTs and the uh, XHs and it might work with the X-Pros. All right, so here it is. You ready? Game changing. You can change all the buttons on your camera, right? You can make each button do what you want it to do. And everybody has their own configuration of what they want to do with their buttons. But this is by far, for me, the best button that I set up. It's the one right there, right there, front so here's what you want to do. You want to go into your menu system. Uh, you can probably just long press this button and bring it straight up. I'm not sure. You know what? Let's find out. We'll find out right here, live on camera. If I long press this button, no, it doesn't do it. So you got to go into the men you got to go into the menu system and you got to go into your FN settings and you got to change your buttons. But here's what you change it to. This button right here, change this to play. Right. Make this the button that reviews the images on your back screen and in your viewfinder. Normally, it's right here on the back of the camera, right there. See the little play, the little play icon? That one. So, if you're shooting, right, let's say you've got your camera in your hand, and you're shooting, right, you're taking pictures, and now you've taken a picture and you want to see what that picture looks like, you have to bring the camera away from your eye and go up here and hit this button. Because you're, 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 there are no fingers when you're shooting that are anywhere near this button back here. They're all, see what I'm saying? But if you assign it to the front button, right there, right there, right next to where your finger is, then you can shoot and then just go click right there. Just one little movement and it will bring the image up inside your viewfinder. And that's huge. So if you're an event photographer like I am, or a portrait photographer, or just taking pictures of your family, it doesn't matter. You take a picture, when, as long as you've got the camera up to your eye, the people will stay there smiling for you. The minute you bring it away from your eye, they break. Now, so you bring it away from your eye to check it, they break. And now they think you're done, but you're not. And you say, oh, wait a minute, I want to do that again, I want to try something else, and now you've got to get them, oh, and get them back together, oh, don't wander off, and come on in, hey, no, see, but if you have it assigned here to this button right here, then you go click, you take the button, you take the picture, then you just hit that button real quick, and now you can see it in the viewfinder, and you keep your camera right here. They think you're still messing around with the controls. They still think you're trying to figure out what to do. But no, you've already taken the picture, and now you're reviewing it. And if there's a problem, you can fix it right then. So if there's a problem, if you made a mistake, you can fix it. If something's wrong in the pose you just spotted, you can fix it. But I can't tell you how many times I'll go, snap, take a picture, review, I'll notice there's a problem, I'll fix it, and then I'll take it again. As far as they know, I was just setting up the camera the whole time. They don't know I took a picture, checked it, saw I made a mistake, fixed it, and then came back. So there it is. That's the one, the one button you can map all the other buttons however you want, but I really think the best use of button mapping is to map this button right here for the playback. Now, I guarantee you somebody who's watching this video has that button mapped to something different that I haven't thought of and it might even be better. So if that's you, please go in the comments and say, hey, Boo-Ray, I've got that button mapped to do this for me and this is even better and then we can all share in your infinite wisdom and ingenuity. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. 
Hey, it's pre-recorded Boo-Ray here with a quick reminder to be sure and check out my podcast. It's called Photobomb. It's available anywhere the podcasts are found. I guarantee you will have a good time. Give it a listen. Also, join my group on Facebook. It's called Pro Photo Talk with Boo-Ray Perry. It's a great community and a great place to go if you want to talk to fellow photographers, ask questions, have a good time, and like and subscribe to my channel because that helps to keep this channel alive. And the main thing that keeps this channel alive is my gear page. If you go down into the description and you look for my gear page, you will find links to all of the gear that I use, both professionally and when I travel. And if you click on one of those links, you buy something, I get a couple of dollars, and it helps me to keep this channel alive.